Hello, hello everybody. Welcome. It's going to be a new session of Against the Storm and it's going to be my my first full-on gameplay on Prestige 13. It's going to be quite scary, not gonna lie. And uh, we're going to play on some Royal Woodlands. It's a pretty easy biome, I'm well aware of that. But I'm just getting used to those new difficulties that which I'm getting imposed upon. So, which caravan to take? I'll take these. Why do I take these? They start with planks, they got humans, and they got two random newcomers. Altogether, that means we have 11 workers, we have advanced building materials to work with, uh, that's pretty cozy. The other caravan that's pretty tasty looking is this one, because it features seven parts more than the others, but, uh, well, I have, uh, I've made my decision. So, we're going to draft ourselves some small farm as an embarkation bonus. And I'm going to follow up with some bricks. And then we're going to grab ourselves some food. Nah, we're going to grab ourselves some wood. There we go. So, that's a pretty okay embarkation bonus. So, we're sitting at Prestige 13. We have fewer cornerstone choices. We're, uh, it's a pretty rough life there. You know, rough quality life. Okay, so this stream is also meant to explain as much as possible and uh, give you guys an impression how I'm trying to win this. So here we have only two cornerstones open. We can only draft two blueprints. We have more difficult orders and a lot of other shenanigans. So what do we have here? Gain 30 insects for each discovered glade. All right, we can get ourselves some food. Unearthly element. Well, that's okay. Hey, Bella, welcome. Happy to see you, mate. We have running wood in the storm. Yuck. Absorption. Burning cysts takes five seconds longer. Ugh. All right, more blight fighters here. And uh, villagers with this effect have a five percent of perishing. Yeah, forget it. I'm not going to play that. I'm a pretty. I'm, I'm a little bit strict, but these uh, modifiers, which impose a chance of death when people don't have uh, services available. I'm just boycotting these because I don't like them. I, I personally despise this uh, type of modifier so much, mostly because I have so little control about whether or not my peeps grab their services or not, and I find it extremely uncomfortable to play that one. So let's retry that. Forest offerings. Every dangerous or forbidden late event will give me 30 random raw food. Well, that's pretty boring. So, trade routes more costly or more, yeah, travel cost. Less hearth resistance. So, every blight rot cyst makes the queen's impatience grow faster. That's pretty brutal. And here we have double hunger. <clears throat> I'm only like this with the uh, storm effects that trigger when people don't have services because I find them too brutal. Like it's so hard to get a uh, reliable um, service grid down, I, I don't like to play with them. I prefer to reset when that happens. The furnace is looking really good. We get copper bars and bricks. I prefer that over the leather worker because the leather worker has fabric, yes. But the furnace has two things. I know that copper is the predominant metal in the Royal Woodlands. And it has another building block. Pie is also damn useful. So here we go. Then we got the Provisioner. I love my Provisioner. And uh, we're going to think over the last one there. I think the Manufactory might be a choice. I do like the pigment and uh, training gear production. Especially the pigment. But uh, well. Let's drop down some basics. We're going to slap up some woodcutters. We got ourselves one danger glade here, one danger glade there. Small glades over there. So my woodcutters will start their business over here. We're going to carve out all that here. So, there we go. Boyd, welcome! Happy to see you, mate. The pleasure that you guys are around. So, we start out with some plant fiber deficit and some root deficit. I'm going to grab myself the roots first. Oh my god, my first name has been revealed. 
not used to that. But you're allowed to do that if you want to. <laughs> right on. So we're going to use up some shelters here. I have by now a uh, typical standard. That's just uh, always the same setup. But I'm faring so well with it that I don't feel too many necessities to change that. Well, I'm feeling pretty okay today. It's been a pretty uh, busy morning for me. Cleaned up the entire house and... Uh, did a lot of tours in between, did a nice recording for the tutorial series on RimWorld, and then I had a hard time deciding what, what to stream today. So we're going to set up Avoid Opening Glades, because I really don't want an accidental opening here. And uh, then I figured that I'm vibing for this type of roguelike today. <clears throat> there we go. So, let's check out what kind of cornerstone we can get. Fuel recipes and higher double yield when under effect of biscuits. Both of them suck quite hard, frankly said. So let's uh, reroll that. Scouts work 10% faster on Glade events for every Firekeeper assigned to Hearth. I'll take that, because uh, Glade events are by now on the prestige levels that we're playing, right, right, outright nightmares. We, we are spending so effing much time resolving these events that it's a pretty good thing. Also, I'm going to block um, coal as fuel, because, you know, coal is a nice emergency fuel. And the Royal Woodlands have a very, very high density of wood. You have a... Uh, you always get two timber out of each chopped tree, and therefore you get a lot of wood out of this biome. So, let's check out what kind of objectives we can pick there. So, clearing glades. Er, uh, well, some jerky, some parts, that's tasty, but it doesn't beat that one. I love it that the three packs quest now features five of each. Well, orders are hotter by now. <laughs> but I do like the rewards. Better grain production, better fabric production parts. It's just so darn uh, nice. I look tired today. Well, I'm actually feeling a little bit tired as well. But I mean, we're. Uh, our kiddo was at the dock today and uh, he obviously had some uh, inflammation in the ear and. Uh, you know, it's a typical thing. Right now I'm feeling quite well, but probably my body is fighting against something again, as he usually is. Alright, we have the shelters down, and uh, we're going to slap up some scavengers in here so we get some food income. And now I have two workers left. I leave them up because I personally am a big fan of having two workers early on to get projects done. We're going to set on up the makeshift post, but I think I'm going to uh, probably, well, let's see, we have bricks. Yeah, we we're going to need the food workstation, whether we want it or not. Maybe a PayPal coffee will fix that. <laughs> Appreciate that for sure. I'm also, um, I also have some nice Earl Grey here for the caffeine support, don't you worry. I think it just shows that I have cleaned out the entire house today, which was... You know, it's been sweaty business. Doesn't uh, get done all by its own. <clears throat> Alright. So there we go. So we have now everything down which we could get down in the first year. We got a pretty solid start. Going to slap up the rest of the buildings there. And then, well, yeah, let's start out with the blight post right away. I don't care. Do I? Well, Brrr. furnace. Do I want to go for the furnace right away? I don't see any big benefit out of that, honestly. I know that we're going to need the uh, the blight station, anyways, very soon. So we're going to build that. You know, rather safe than sorry. <laughs> well, the thing is, I'm a total addict to good uh, tea. I had a uh, I had a coffee face in my life. Oh, I built two crude workstations. Low. I had a coffee face in my life, and I I went back to tea. I just uh, I just feel happier when I'm drinking tea, comparatively. All right, so one dude at the crude workstation, because we're going to require that stuff. 
the most important thing, and now we're down to one worker. Usual shenanigans. I don't, uh, I, I can't stomach that uh, stevia stuff, I don't know. It, it leaves a, a coat on my tongue and makes me sick. But uh, I personally drink my tea without any additives, I just drink it as it comes, so... <laughs> I think I don't need to grow more minimalistic than that. So uh, we're going to take away one scavenger and uh, put one person into the harvesters. So this year is pretty done. We can set up a uh, triple speed there. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to leave my woodcutters to clear up this glade a little bit better for us. And uh, rest of the time we're going to last through the storm. And next year we have all those uh, glade borders already open and hopefully something nice will happen. So I'm now going uh, that for that rare triple speed. So building projects, yeah, there's one more building project open, and we gotta build up some roads too. There we go. Triple speed is usually a no-no for me because I play way too hasty and uh, unattentive if I do so. So there we go. <clears throat> Storm season is upon us, but I think it's going to be absolutely uh, easy. So we don't need to stop cutting wood there. Yeah, we have a uh, we have a um, online uh, a online trader for for tea here. One uh, one will village eve, and uh, we're uh, we're ordering there, and my wife picks it up there in person, so they don't have to do the shipping, and they have great tea. So. Thank you, Void. You're so kind. Appreciate that. You really know how to make a Monday happier. I was so, uh... By the way, Monday. Last week I managed to uh, think the entire Tuesday while streaming that it was Monday. I announced several things while streaming in the, in the strong belief that it was Monday. <laughs> I was, uh... After I realized that, I felt a little bit bad for myself. <laughs> Alright, so first storm year, we don't need to do anything. We can actually put our uh, last dude in into the scabby camp, why not? Comes a, bit, a little bit late. We could have done more there, but whatever. Alright, so year two begins. Let's see what the Queen has in store for us. A hey, without restrictions. I love that one. Our, our villagers now have a chance to double their production, but we can't control, control their consumption anymore. 10 seconds to remember what year it is. Well, can relate. <laughs> right on. I'm going to pick up the dudes with the, uh, with the crowbars. Although 18 veggies are pretty cool, but we're not going to pick that up. So, we're due for glade opening. So, let's delete some of these. So, I want to open the glade ASAP. And it should be opened as uh, as the first thing in a year. You know. So, woodcutters, we put the beavers into charge. They're just the best choice for that. And now we got two houses left. So, well, we're going to set up beaver residence there. Why not? Okay. And I put up the trading post now. Okay. I got lots of wood. <clears throat> that means... I am most likely, uh, oh, I forgot to allow them to open the plate, whoopsie. So I'm most likely going to tune down the wood production a bit, or I'm going to use the wood for, for trade sakes, I'm not sure about that yet. So what do we have here? We have clay, we got sea marrow, so mineral deficits all the way, fertile soil, pretty good, a furnace, oh, crap. Ah. Oh. We're going to dismantle that furnace, I'd say. And uh, the Forgotten Temple of the Sun. So uh, we cannot resolve that with any of our given methods. Darned. 
So what does it do if it blows up? Destroys all trade goods. Okay. Well, ain't the worst outcome, honestly. There's uh, actually plenty of uh, glades that do way more wicked things when you don't treat them correctly. Nevertheless, I'm not happy with that because I want to get... Uh, I want to get that done and not uh, sit on it, you know. So let's uh, check on out what the trading post can do for us. You're uh, you're going through Symphony of War. I somehow didn't. Uh, I somehow wasn't able to stomach that horrible writing. <laughs> I I got so turned off when I tried to get into that game that I uh, really. I don't know why. I don't know why that pissed me off so hard, but it did. And I wasn't able to touch it again ever, ever since then. So, the good news, Farluf has what we require. He has the missing fabric. The bad news, we'll have to pay dearly for that. Oh, God. Damn that beaver, dude. It's taking all my wood. And my resin, too. Whatever. It resolves its late event, so it's worth, you know? Oh, still hurts a ton. So, gain two bricks for pottery. No, 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 no. Eric, right. Shut up and take my money. We've got to get rid of that problem here. So, um, yeah. That's pretty hard for me. Well, yeah, that's true. But I think JRPGs sometimes have a really uh, pleasant uh, pleasant and entertaining story. You know? So, let's uh, send that to the Citadel. These items, they aren't uh, too... Uh, too important for my calling. And that money and the reputation, we really need that. Alright, so I'm already out of work first. I think what pissed me off so hard with uh, the um, Symphony of War title was that it uh, the, the 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 villain's introduction there when he uh, when he murdered that uh, when he did that when he pulled off his murder scheme and the like I I don't know I I, I have a hard time respecting bad um, villains you know and I have a knack for cool villains so, yeah you get the idea. So, funding the expedition, big delivery, yeah. Mass production, give me that. Trading post plus amber, well, versus human and beaver housing, leads to better flower production. Hmm. I have grain, so I'm pretty interested in that. Although this is damn easy to achieve there. And gameplay-wise, when it came down to Symphony of War, it was uh, very easy, and the reviews said it would keep it would stay like that. But uh, if you say it's worth uh, strive, it's worth going deeper there. I might give it another go. Well, there must be a reason where that overwhelmingly positive ratings come from, you know. Usually when games are overwhelmingly positive, it has a reason. So here I'm picking up that, mostly because tools and uh, parts are just such a strong reward. <clears throat> okay. So here I'm chopping free that area. And I'd say it's a damn good moment now. Get started with the furnace. Because we have now a source of copper. The clay deficit has a uh, chance of dropping copper, so we can't go for that. Well, let's see. Advanced farming versus need for jerky. Well, I'll take that advanced farming, and I'll leave the last order closed, you know? We don't need to go for that yet. We can, but we don't need to. So the provisioner I'm running has flour. The furnace I ha got has copper. So the manufactory is actually the only really kind of like interesting thing. But at the same time, yeah, well, the pigment is actually the only thing in that building which is somewhat interesting for my purposes. So, Whew, I have a hard time uh, 
saying that this is worth it, you know? Anyways, we're, we're going to get that nevertheless. I don't want to reroll, and I know that pigment and training gear are usually worth the pain. So what are we lacking right now? Planks, of course. Yeah, it's always a lot of planks, isn't it? Um, no, Crystal Project, I haven't uh, played that. I was wondering whether or not it's worth my time. So, let's set up the farm. It's going to be next year's business, you know. Altogether, I just don't have enough workers right now. So, let's speed up things a tad bit. I was pondering about releasing some of the woodcutters from their job. So we're going to uh, release one human worker here and another human worker here so we can speed up things a tad bit. I want to employ another person at the fruit workstation so we get our materials together a little bit faster. And let's see what that'll do for us. Well, against the storm for me, it was like uh, when I when I uh, checked out the early access for the very first time, I was totally not interested. And then it got released on on Steam, and uh, so ever since then, I feel like the game's uh, totally where it wants to be now. So we're going to deliver that. We're going to receive some food, some some tools, and most importantly, some reputation. So what do we get there? A herb garden or a forager's camp? So the forager's camp would allow me to access the moss broccoli patches. It's actually almost worth it. The herb garden, though, would be a permanent income source. Difficult decisions. Really, really difficult decisions to me, at least. Hmm. Well, well. Let's make sure that these planks get delivered fast. All right, so we got a lot of workers now left here. And uh, here, well, dismantling that furnace would be not really bringing me that much. So, yeah, let's not ponder too hard. <sighs> thing here is that uh, the, the moss broccoli patches, they look good on paper, but in practice, I don't really need them that. Harvesters, foragers, and the like, they are always, in my humble opinion, not as powerful as permanent uh, income sources like uh, a farm or such. I always uh, would value a farm over a uh, over a collector that's just picking up uh, temporarily um, available things. So, the furnace is up. We're going to, well, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go for the uh, forever garden, I'm pretty sure. I hope I get another patch of fertile soil up here. But one way or another, I think that's how we're going to uh, rock it. So, here we go. There. Bricks, and we're going to deactivate bricks here. Because the uh, furnace is just way more efficient at, doing, at producing bricks. Okay, still got two workers left that are idling around. Let's change that by building a path on over there. And let's see, is it already hearth time? Well, we're not quite there yet. Alright, so let's set on up our woodcutters into this region here. Both of them, actually. Because I want to free up the glade so we can put up a hearth here as well. The more hearths we got, the better our resolve is. That's just as it is. Alright. So, storm season is upon us. The farm is almost there. Perfect timing. Okay, so, first year I'm not going to grow any grain, or, well, no, never mind, we will grow grain, because I actually got the Provisioner already. Provisioner Gordon, he will, he will provide. Jokes aside, uh, Provisioners are good producers for flour, and flour is one of the cheapest ways of getting, uh, of getting your, uh, 
getting your packs of trade goods going. So tell you what, we're going to we're going to be uh, we're going to be brave little boys today. We're going to open that glade during the storm because we're uh, darn stable. Hostility level is already above this point, so that means it doesn't make any difference if we opened up that glade or not. So uh, what's wrong? Okay, let's check out the corruption. We're at 46 person. That means we'll have to take care of that soon as well. Stone Tooth Termite Burrow. Alrighty. So that's one of the reasons why I immediately stopped using my coal early on. I learned that trick from my wife. And uh, we can now use the coal for sealing up that thing. Which is outright amazing because we are going to get ourselves a constant income source of food out of that. It might be a bit yucky at the first glance because it's termites, but you know, if you're hungry, you gotta eat what you gotta eat. So we're going to slap the beavers in there and uh, the humans will do this event now. This is a little bit of a nasty event because uh, our, our plant dudes are working worse, which sucks hard, and we get a minus eight on global resolve. That's one reason why I had to... Uh, unemploy the, the woodcutters right away. So, well, let's see. Can I unemploy people somewhere? I'm going to unemploy the person here, and I want to have some of these. Also, we're going to require some more farming, because it is now decided her garden is going to be a thing. There go. Simply that combo of the farm and the herb garden will be magnificent. So we can basically already um, produce the pie, you know? The flower comes from that combo, and the herbs we require, we have already an endless resource uh, set up there. Brilliant. Couldn't be better, I'd say. Let's say, let's see what the last order does. Don't fell any trees for 500 seconds. The rewards are actually not that impressive, honestly. Well, are they? Let's see. Sahilda's secret cookbook. Gain 10 jerky for every 10 pie produced. Never mind. I'm already sold. Alright. So, we got that. Perfect. Beaver resolve is low. Well, there's not much storm season left, so we don't need to worry about that too much. Scavy camp is empty. Damn. Well, oh boy, look at that. We have a big new deficit out there. Nice. Oh, good. And we're going to slap up a warehouse up here, too. I'm a big fan of warehouses everywhere. You might have already noticed. Good old. So, what's up in the box? Small press. Gain oil for every 12 flour produced. Nice. Gain coal for every 20, uh, for every burned uh, few of blight rot cysts. It's also pretty cool, but. Well. It's a difficult one, but I'll pick the small press in this regard. So, we're going to pick on up... Well... Ah, let's take that crowd. They have more food. Harpy's resolve is low. Hmm. Yeah, I know how that comes together. That's because of the uh, wonderful event we're, uh, we're, we're tinkering on right now. It's a minus eight global resolve thing. And the harpies hate it already, damn. But we can work on that. So uh, we got, luckily, the materials we require to make or to set up a harpy house. It's going to be a good start. And uh, we're going to set on up a another beaver house, which we don't have the resources for. Too bad. Well, what can we do besides that? I could lower the hostility. Why the hell is the hostility already so high? Well, if I'd unemploy more woodcutters, nothing changes. But we have a uh, very soon influx of extra impatience from the queen, so that would uh, resolve the situation as well. All in all, pretty shitty situation to be in right now. Not gonna lie. But, uh, well. Sadly, I don't have anything where I could uh, bunker my 
my beavers add so they'd be happier. Well, well. Yeah, plate events. They always uh, kick your butt quite hard in the higher difficulty levels. That's pretty normal. So, I really don't want to lose my harpies right uh, from the get-go. So, let's... Uh... Why is their resolve so darn low? Ah, oh, yeah, of course, because of that. So, I hope that house will do something. Although, well... I don't think that will suffice to, uh, yeah, no, that, 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 that one harpy will, uh, will leave us. Oh no! Well, whatevs, this, uh, stabilizes the situation. It's tragic, but what can we do? Sometimes you lose people in the harder difficulty levels, especially. That's pretty typical, I know. Yeah. Sometimes you, you leave a colonist. It's not the end of it. Okay, but, uh, well. So this year, our agriculture will be just a joke. Because of those damn termites. But, uh, well. We got three workers left up there. Damn. And we're not able to do anything, are we? What a pity. So, what are we going to do instead? I'm going to stack up people there at the stone cutters and at the harvesters at least. We have some blight post people around already. So we got two workers left. Alright. So we got woodcutters nowhere and uh, we are pretty low on fuel. Alright. So let's allow them to burn coal again. So we got that problem at least out of the way. And let's see, Sahilda, fair lady Sahilda, don't you have some fuel for me? No, damn, that would have been nice. So what else? Um, we're in a lack of planks. Yeah, we're in a lack of planks altogether. So, Sahilda, you can sell some planks. How about that? So. Ugh. Well. Looks like we can only afford ten of them. Not even quite. Sheesh. Well. Let's add in some resin. Here, take my last log. Are you happy now? Well, jokes aside, this is necessary investment in it. So, we will stay low on fuel for a while longer if we work on like that. So, we're going to change up the rate the, the game like that. Good thing is, coal does burn a minute per unit, and uh, that sea marrow we're uh, just uh, gathering is working quite similar, so that will get me somewhere. Not gonna lie, this is a pretty spicy situation to be in, though. So, the harvesters are out of business. Alright, too bad. There we go. And what do we have now? We have four people available and, uh, well, for some reason we still got planks right on. I have no clue how that's happening. So that termite burrow is resolved in one and a half minutes. That means there's going to be some time left to create ourselves some wood. Um, Rav, the thing is, I cannot right now. The event I'm rocking here is I'm putting up a global resolve of minus eight, and if I put up one more woodcutter, 
Oh, it does work right now. Okay, the uh, harpies are now stable. We had um, a moment ago a situation where we weren't even able to employ woodcutters because they went on minus result there. Now it works. So, good thing you reminded me, but it uh, it was not unintentional or anything like that. Okay, but we're done with that one right there quite soon. And the best part about that is we'll have a permanent income source of food out of that, which is outright amazing. So, let's see. We don't seem to have any work in here. So we don't have any... Ah, oh, we do have one pressing matter. So, but before we got any uh, planks there, it doesn't matter anyway. So, let's do this. We don't want the barrels in there, we just want the flour. It is quite questionable if these uh, are actually do have any income this year, because we had some nasty termites there. Alright, but we got rid of the termites, so finally. Great. Okay, so that means we can finally go for the regular load of woodcutters again. Well, usually I would like to have some more, but whatever. We got now only one worker left. We cannot go lower than that. Okay, so year three seems to be quite decent. It's a bit of a shame that our agriculture is uh, such a joke right now, but what can we do? It'll grow better. So, let's check out what the orders have in store for us. Open four caches. Alright. Blade event carry capacity, but I'll take that. 30 farm fields and some packs of crops. No biggie. We ain't got the farm fields together as of yet, but we're surely gonna get them. I got humans. With humans, there's no reason not to go totally crazy with uh, with your with your agricultural um, ideas. And this colony is pretty much already hell bent on uh, on being a, a agricultural community. So we got five insects per minute. That's great. I love that trait. It's one of my personal favorites because it's giving you so much longevity. Okay, so storm season is upon us. I'm pretty sure we're going to need to unemploy a lot of uh, woodcutters there. Yep. So... Most of my woodcutting has to be for... Oh, no, all of my woodcutting. Crap, I hate it. Well, okay. It is as it is. <laughs> That's, I'm happy to hear that. I'm always happy to hear when you folks are... Are enjoying the selection of games here because I really do my best to stay on spot with uh, with the good stuff you know there's uh there's lots of stuff out there but the good stuff that's pretty hard to uh, to find at least if you ask me all right let's give those folks some proper housing and I'd say it's also about time that we're uh, going to give our colony a second hearth or so I thought damn Ugh. The chopping is not getting done there. How about the hearth up here? Um, yeah, okay. We need more. We need more chopping! So, I got three unemployed beavers. I don't like unemployment. I don't like it at all. So, we got ourselves... Do we already have flour? No. Only nothing happened that year. Ah, shame. Anyways, so, 555 five, five it is, right? So we're going to make a... Ugh. Can we make the building material packages somewhere else? No, we can't. Yeah. They just hurt me, you yeah. know? Seeing that just hurts my senses. So packs of provisions, packs of crops, let's see. Roots, well, that's... I want to finish at least one of those quests, you know. Uh, 
Yeah, the amount of games being released nowadays is absolutely nuts, you know? I find it so insane how much games there are being released these days. I feel so bad for all the game devs out there. Because it must be one of the worst jobs that you can possibly have nowadays. With all that, uh... Over, um... With that, all that, uh, ma with that massive amount of, uh, new releases all day. So, newly discovered resource nodes have more charges versus missed piercers. I'm not really needing any of these too badly. I'm going to pick up the Rich Glades nevertheless because it's, uh, I wouldn't call it a power perk, but, uh, I do like it because it increases the longevity of the entire, um, Glade distribution and, and all. So, we require another house for the humans, and we require some extra decorations to get those bonuses, because those bonuses are actually worth it, you know. So, whoopsie, that's one too much. Ah, whatever, I'm going to not keep it. I was for a moment considering to keep it, because I'm going to need it later anyways, but then I realized I don't Alrighty, so we got ourselves a small suit of new people to work here. Three, four more people. So, first off, get that wood chopping into motion. So, damn. That's all already? Jeez. So, I want to have a harpy in here. Because harpies are good choices for the blight post. So I need to get myself some light on here. It's dark. That's better. So. We're working on the packs now. This year, I probably don't want to force myself too much into anything. We got all the necessary things down. We do finally the agriculture we required. We do have all the necessary things going on for success. The only thing that I'm lacking right now, or missing I should rather say, is a, another hearth. But we're also working on that. I really do love how much uh, success this little place already has. We're doing damn well here. Impatience is growing a bit, though, so I'm a little bit uh, worried about that. The furnace, the makeshift post. Are you guys getting done anything so far? So we got lots of provisions. Hello there. Beautiful. Wonderful. So grab that stuff. So with provisions, we might actually check on out the trade routes. So... Yeah, let's sell some leftover parts. I end up having too many of those most of the time, and uh, I know that my food stockpiles are actually quite low already, but it, uh, it only looks like it, Dad. We'll have our first pipe reduction running quite soon, and therefore it's all going to be fine. What's killing my food right now is the fact that the makeshift post is uh, grabbing itself so much food out of my stockpiles. And uh, that's that's a little bit of a uh, of a downer there, but that's uh, okay. So can we now finally put up a hearth here? Damn, still. All right, we got ourselves a trader in town quite soon. That's why I was uh, pumping out some trade routes. This will help, hopefully. So, fire material-wise, we are on a really, really good moment there. But we are low on food. So, let's see what we can do about that. This dude here doesn't feature any food. Too bad. Doesn't come as a big surprise, though. Okay, then. So, what are we going to do with our money? Keep it, I'd say. Although, well, is there any possible to buy six tools? 
Yeah, well, I could sell the majority of my sea marrow. I'll tell you what, I'm actually going to do that. It looks a little bit crazy what I'm doing here, but hear me out. The thing is, we got ourselves now 14 um, tools. And 14 tools are all you need to open up any glade out there. Basically, there's no danger glade event that requires more than 14 tools. And therefore, it's for me really worth the pain. So, we are right now low on food, officially. Damn. But we're also uh, in harvest season, so... I hope that'll balance out in, in time. I'm really low on workforce here, total, in, in, in total. But whatever. I've had way worse beginnings, so... Oh, well, it's not the ideal spot for the hearth. But I'll build it there anyways, because we do just need it. Okay. So we're going to lock the packs of provisions and packs of crops here and give back that stuff into our storages and uh, all of a sudden we are no longer low on food magic so 75 amber in six and a half minutes sure what's there reach standing level two with three different settlements on trade routes that's doable that's absolutely doable let's do that okay So we're now seriously lacking one field, uh, one farm field there. Damn. Oh well. It is as it is, I'd say. Okay. Well, well. It's going to be another year before we have access to complex food for real, but next year we can at least open up another nasty blade. That's at least something. We're going to be moving that place on over here and hopefully we can keep them for this storm. So Harpy's resolve is low. Crap. So, well, we won't lower the uh, hostility by just unemploying more woodcutters, so we are a bit in a pickle here. That's, by the way, one of the reasons why I want that... Uh, so badly. This is the second hearth, I mean. So we're going to do a bit of a resolve juggling thing here. But it's going to piss off the beavers now. So we're going to be on a constant back and forth motion for now. But maybe this will be enough to get us through there before things uh, escalate up too hard in our face. So now the beavers are on the runaway. Now we set up these again, so we do this now, and hopefully get the rest of the storm through like that. Okay, what we're going to do now, let's sacrifice some wood this storm. There we go. It does drain your resources to do so, and it's quite shitty to do that, but uh... Ah, I wish I had some uh, buildings for the Harpies. I don't have anything where they would be happy to work at. Grain delivery line. Hell yeah, I'll take that. This will help me a ton. And uh, here. Humans and beavers. Well. I'll take the other one, nevertheless. We don't need the pole that badly, honestly. 
So we're going to require one beaver house and one human house over there. Just want to start and uh, make this a real neighborhood as quick as possible. You guys are supposed to work on that. So are you. And don't worry to open glades, you are actually supposed to. Good old. So we got four workers left. That's actually good news. So the provisioner is actually producing flour. The furnace is actually producing pie. Hell yeah. Progress, my friends. Progress. Now we're getting somewhere here. So, well, I'm only as fast as my woodcutters are, so I cannot change that. We have a little bit too much unemployment going on here, though. So, let's deconstruct the ferns while we're at it. And I'll, I'll leave the rest of the workers like that. For now, I'd say. Okay, let's make it as narrow as possible. There we go. So, roots, stormbirds, cash, and one fuming machinery. The fuming machinery, well, okay. We only require one dosage of bricks more. Nice. So... Let's see. Scouts are idle on furnace. Well, so we're going to unemploy two of you, and then we're going to slap on in the bricks there. So choose your reward. We're going to send that to the citadel. No long pondering about that. No, no. And another warehouse will be sitting here. So, resin production plus sick. White timber. Alright. So. Come on. Go. So we require two brick more, hey? So could somebody please produce those bricks? It's quite urgent, my fair people. Alright, wonderful. So we're going to be able to make that happen before it goes boom, I hope. So, the warehouse is there, and uh, our dudes are hopefully working on that thing here any moment. Okay. Good. There we go. You're absolutely right about that. Okay, so situation is growing stable. Definitely. So we got three packs quest done. Very important thing, first off, disable that. You don't want them to produce any of these packs unnecessarily. And then, let's see, we can re-enable those packs of crops. We actually need 25 of these. So we're going to require buttloads to put it into a more to a less obscure term all right so that's some reputation gain perfect and uh biscuits cosmetics and incense yeah well okay i'll take that 
the apothecary is therefore not my personal favorite but uh you know biscuit production is actually quite decent that's actually quite decent No problem, Bella. No problem. How can you block this up? So, uh, the root deficit here is going to be uh, snacked soon. And here we got... We can't basically uh, pick up everything on that uh, on that clade. Without any extra buildings. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? So, we got no more wildfire essences. So, that means we got no more ability to get ourselves another hearth so stonecutter's deposit is empty do we have anything for them no that sucks that sucks big time so we gotta work on that okay what's well, dismantle that place for now now let's see what our buddy Sothur has in store for us so we still require packs of building materials. I hate those. Crops, and we require better trading. Okay. So, all in all, I don't see anything I'd like to sell the buddy here right now. So, we're going to just. Well, we're not going to. We're not gonna. High level of corruption. Now that sounds uh, unsettling. Let's make sure that's gone. And the fuming machinery is also settled. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, the last piece of housing is going to be set together too. And this place requires some extra decorations. And then we'll have to think about further expansion soon. We're not going to flap open a Forbidden Glade, for real. But, uh, let's see. So, trade routes. Let's uh, sell some roots. Our place has roots for days. So... We get big benefits from high levels of standing, so we better utilize those. Also... We do seem to need more blight fire. Okay, though. All in all, situation's looking quite decent, isn't it? So we got that event gone. And I still got 14 units of tools on me. I'm going to keep them for the next blade, that is. So, down there. Down there is the next blade we're going to open. configure these and make sure they don't open another blade accidentally of course so another road goes up here big issues of our place here we still don't have any autonomous production of tools we still don't have any real way of winning the game so far but uh we're we're gonna be getting there don't worry i've had way worse starting points to sit at so all right storm incoming that's going to be brutal the harpies are so low on resolve So let's see how <clears throat> much we can do there. Minus 10. Yikes. Oh boy. Situation is pretty crappy, honestly. Market. Um, yeah. Versus Guild House. Well, both of these suck, so. I really don't know which one to pick of them because they both are. Not really resolvable for me right now. That's the problem. We're definitely not going to sell any stone because stone is just too valuable for us right now. So the situation as it is, well, we can lower the hostility by one little notch here. Let's see what that'll do. 
So, uh, with that, during a wood sacrifice, we would be at least able to stabilize the beavers. Alright. It's just a pr problem. We just don't have enough uh, anti-hostility effects right now. Altogether, this is something where this colony uh, had some severe shortcomings. So let's sacrifice some to get the heart piece back to normal. At least for a moment. I'm pretty sure we're going to bleed at least one heartbeat this this storm. Hey, go positive again, you. There we go. And we don't have enough luxury foods either. That's another issue. So all in all, that's, uh, you know, it's weighing quite hot on our colony. But we'll see what we can do. So let's, yeah, there's uh, one Harpy leaving. We, we lost a Blight Fighter Harpy, but that's okay. We're not gonna get uh, overwhelmed by Blight just like that. And uh, we don't have any comfort food for the Harpies either, but the biscuits will probably help. That's one typical difficult situation to be in at the beginning of the game, but, uh... No! Oh, alright, that was close, dude. So, yeah, we're, we're going to bleed two hard piece even. Dang. So... Yeah, let's do this like that. It's a temporary, uh... It's a temporary drain on the coal like crazy, but it's uh, uh, coal on the wood, but it's going to get us through this. Right on. So we really need something for better um, resolve. Another rich glades, no thanks. The old fedora head, well, double glade event chance. Yeah, okay, whatever. Right now, I'm not a, not too happy, but altogether, I gotta say, this difficulty level is quite brutal in this own regard because it uh, you know you get constantly uh, pushed around so to say this difficulty level is tough as nails it's one of the hardest that I've played so far honestly prestige 13 is kicking my butt quite hard the double lowering uh, you know you have lower draft you have lower cards to draft you have lower um, cornerstones to draft. This makes it so much harder to reach your um, your winning uh, your 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 win conditions. Really disgusting, but it's also quite entertaining at the same moment. So I'm uh, you know I'm equally disgusted and pleased. All right, so we have to uh, bring up the woodcutters here. And we're going to bring up both of them because we, again, require all the, all the stuff. So, you are totally allowed to open glades. Okay. Houses are being built. I hope that's going to give us some relief here. There we go. Harpies are super pissed constantly, but, uh, you know, I find it quite relatable. We don't have the comfort food they prefer, so... That is quite relatable. Okay. New Danger Glade? Let's see. Oh yeah, another fuming machinery. Look at me. And more fertile soil. Perfect. So, fuming machinery, we can resolve that once again with other stuff but this time i'm just going to pick up the tools and uh and go for it what do we have here prosperous archaeology gaining stack of wealth for every two caches opened well that's pretty useful actually but i want to i want to make progress with the queen okay and we also have a haunted rain mill down here so Haunted buildings are darned brutal. They are also darned lucrative, but they're also really, really hard to be, uh, 
Alright, to be reclaimed, you know. So, down here is another farm. And we got ourselves. Finally, the trade routes are coming together. We do also have some provisions for these. So, stuff is uh, coming together. So, advanced farming. Yay! And another blueprint. Come on, give me something that we really need. The artisan. Well, coats. How interesting are coats? As, yeah, well, the humans and the beavers love coats, and most importantly, I hope the artisan is, uh, yeah, it's a clothing building, so, uh, yeah, we, we totally do that. And even if it's only to make our harpies happier, you know, happy harpies. Okay. I'm not gonna sell the planks. I don't dare to sell building materials at the very moment. That just sounds lunatic to me. So, well, it's gonna be hard to know whether which one of these we're going to pick or not. Oh, 35 packs of provisions. I know that we can totally tackle these. So we're going to disable the provision packs here nevertheless. And we're going to enable them here, and uh, we're going to have 35 of them. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Whatever makes you tick. So. We do go quite well through the orders, so all in all, the situation is pretty, pretty good, you know? As good as a Prestige 13 situation can be. All right, we're getting rid of the fuming machinery, too. That's pretty cool as well. So, well... I don't want to put the remaining beavers into that uh, job there, although I could. So, we do require some place to make tools at, though. That's the one thing we really need to draft sooner or later. Oh, we received 30 fo food because we resolved one uh, random flight event during the during the drizzle. Hey, perfect. So, okay. We got more farm fields than we need already. Okay. So, let's see. Oh, look at the harpies. We can uh, do a favoring thing on them. And then they should turn out some resolve. Yep. Not much, because it's just four of them. But that's why I like harpies in general. You dudes, you silly old dudes. That one ha that's what happens when you uh, uncheck avoid opening plates for a moment. Well, didn't want that. But whatever. Oh yeah, trade routes. Trade routes. We do have that order for um, standing with our neighbors still, so I want to get that done. Although, I don't see anything that I want to do there. What's the max prestige? 20. 20 is the max rank. So, altogether, well, what can we produce at that rain mill? Scrolls, flour, and packs of building materials. Oh, okay. Mm. High level of corruption, but we got enough uh, light fighters, don't we? Okay, so now then. RP number one does not longer work here. There we go. Happy Harpies work at the Artisans, you know. And, uh, Scavy Camp ran dry, but, uh, you know. Them Scavies will be busy for the end of the game, uh, until the end of the game, I say. <laughs> Alright, we can fill it, finish that quest, but I won't. It's bringing me four newcomers by the end of the year. That's a pretty crappy thing, you know. It's not the time of the year where I want to have many newcomers. 
we have to put a shelter up for them and uh, therefore would suck to be to be in charge of that right now yeah. so there's a pretty interesting area of farming here happening and here we got the hub as well and do I have wildfire essences in the rewards here? No, I didn't draft that properly. Damn, we're only at two hubs for this run. So, Farloof, my dude. So, let's see. Ten tools. Take all my money. Thing is, you know, since we are not able to produce tools by ourselves, we really got to buy them. We really, really got to. As uh, crappy as that might be. So, how the hell are we going to do that? I don't want to sell any of my uh, more precious items. Um, no, I'm my max rank right now is Prestige 13. You uh, unlock one uh, one rank further every time you... You beat one rank, you unlock the next rank, technically. So, I'm giving away the packs of crops here. So this way we got the necessary tools to do our thing again. So... Problem that I'm seeing, though, is I'm running out of Danger Glades to uh, go for. There's a couple of... Th there's Forbidden Glades, more and more of them. But I'm totally not interested in Forbidden Glades. They really kick your colony's butt, you know? They're, uh, they're nightmarish and brutal. So, we're going to open up this blade instead. And the next storm is incoming. So let's see how that'll go this time. Um, well, am I winning this one? I would spontaneously say probably. Most likely. Hard to tell. The higher um, prestige levels are really something else, you know. Alright, so we got some negative uh, resolve on the beavers again. Them beavers, dude. We do have some impatience incoming, so that might be actually helping. Let's see. So far, I'd say the situation is looking quite good. What's not looking good is the fact that I don't have any... Uh, any permanent source of wood, and that's going to be a pretty uh, problematic thing. And our harpies are constantly in a uh, shitty mood, but it's harpies, you know. When are harpies not in a shitty mood? So, we can stabilize the situation by sacrificing effing amounts of wood. Alright, at least something. We're going to keep at a sacrifice of one. And then uh, I'm going to stack it up if necessary. Best I can do right now. Ugh. Well. That's a really shitty situation to be in. But we can't really change it. But on the plus side, we got so darn much wood in this colony that it ain't that much of a big deal. Usually I don't like to uh, work with that much sacrificial material and the like, but you know, sometimes every map is different. Every run is different. Every time you try to win, there are other problems in your way. Sometimes you're not even able to beat the problems at all, but... That's a different story. Okay, so, uh, well, we've survived another storm, and, uh, wow, that's crappy, I don't want these. Gain five pigment for every ten insects produced, yeah, why not? Got lots of insects. So, it's newcomer time, and our colony will be, uh, brim-filled there. So we can now give away that quest here. So let's do this. And let's see. Ugh, well, neither of these is too desirable. 
and the agriculture quest. I won't be uh, turning that in right now because I got so many people that are needing housing. I want to give them a roof over their head at first before I uh, go too crazy here. So let's see, we need one harpy housing, we need one human housing, and we need three beaver houses. So our colony will be quite busy for the remainder of the season. Because that's a darn high number of housing uh, jobs. But on the other hand, we also got a lot of uh, workers uh, there, so... There is also something positive about that side. Okay. Let's put those harpies at the artisan's shop. Where they are stupidly happy. And then let's hope that the glade opening will go for will go smoothly. They're needing darn long this time. Oh yeah, we should definitely uh, make the harpies happy so they can churn out some resolve. Uh, reputation, of course, not recent. So, a totem of uh, a rain spirit totem. That's pretty good. And a haunted human house. I've never seen a haunted house. Purified human house. Number of places, six. Six. Wow, that's a lot. So, temporarily increased hostility of 300. Oh, crap. Just what I needed. But the good news is, at the end of the day, this thing will reduce the hostility at the... over the entire map. So this is also giving us something positive. But uh, we really... we really should now send things to the Citadel and uh, pray that we're going to get a income of tools soon. I mean, basically, I really just need a uh, workshop for that, so I'm somewhat intrigued to re uh, to do some amber rerolls as soon as I can afford them. Because you know, the situation is not not that bad or good either. Hey, Shishiro, welcome. You know, we're right now pretty much on a stalemate. The thing is, we do have a lot of goodness going on with the artisan. Coats we're producing there will be really, really good for the colony, but uh, also I'm a little bit nervous about this uh, stupid uh, rain spirit totem here because our dudes are taking ages again to get the job going there. So let's see. Are we starting now? Four minutes forty-four. Ugh. Taking we're taking a part of that event into the rain season. Thank you, game. Just what I needed. Well. So, we do require stupid amounts of planks, but that's nothing new. And uh, here, makeshift post. You are actually allowed to make more acts of building materials. Thanks, though. So, how come that our provision packs are empty? Because we're out of herbs? Herb? How on earth? Yeah, well, whatever. So, turns out we can obviously need a bit more of that. How's our flower? Yeah, we obviously don't have enough uh, herbs here. And, uh, why is my wood situation that crappy right now? Somebody care to explain you? Well, we're definitely going to set on up another woodcutter under these circumstances, you know. I have more than enough beavers. This is going to be one terrible, um, one really, really terrible, uh, 
storm season, I can already tell. That's going to be one crappy storm season. So, let's do a reroll, I'd say. Smokehouse, jerky. Well, no, we're going to pick up the scribe. It has a crappy uh, transformation rate of uh, of tools, but it is a transformation rate of tools, nevertheless, and that's what matters, you know. So. Hmm. Looks like our timber deficit or our timber um, stockpiles are getting better now. Recuperating after that shock. But we're not going to make it in terms of uh, getting enough housing together, uh, get our housing uh, completed before the storm sets in. Ugh. Hostility 10. That's not what you like to see. And we have to last through. 40 seconds of that in the storm season. Yeah. All right. That's very, 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 very problematic, you know? So, um, yeah. This is a level of hostility that nobody can tackle, so we can we, we can just do nothing here. Well, let's hope that... Uh, now then, this is where we can start working at again. So everybody is on a slight minus there. That sucks, but we're uh, we're going to sacrifice some wood, I'd say. Try to get them at least positive for a moment. Does the harpy run away? No. All right. So we're going to leave that like this as long as we can. I mean, we won't be able to leave it like that too long. We're going to lose people this storm, pretty sure. But on the other hand, I mean, I have more uh, cards with, uh, with extra population on my hand than I can possibly play, so uh, zero Fs given, you know. So, goodbye beavers. We've had way too many of you anyways. So... Damn, the harpy result went low now as well. That was uh, unintentional, but yeah, let's just say we're okay with losing a couple of dudes there. There we go. Beavers went positive before a second one left. Hmm, that's pretty okay. Let's say that's as good as it can be in uh, this kind of situation. So we gotta move our woodcutters closer to the to the actual interesting areas. The thing is, if your woodcutters are too far away from a hearth, they'll have one big problem. Whenever they are going to take a break, they go to a hearth to grab some piece to eat. And uh, if the hearth is really far away, their logistics become a nightmare, you know? That's uh, how it comes together. This looks more organized than your villages. I don't know. My, my stuff here looks as it looks. So these are crappy cornerstones. Cosmetics or wine. We can produce cosmetics, so we're going to do that. I mean, at the end of the day, Harpy resolve for cosmetics produced. Guess that's a good thing, but uh, you know, you know how my stuff's working out so far. Good old. We require another housing here there so we're going to pick up that so what's cosmetics made of oil and pigments well okay so we're producing that now because the ladies like it great whatever you know sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do we're activating the pigment production there because we got the uh we got what we need for that and then be it as it wants to be. We're going to do this. I got a passive oil production anyway, so might as well put it to good use. Right on. So, Sir Renveld Redmain, what can you do for me? 
Builder's Pack. Oh yeah, another Hostility Reduction Pack. Let's do that. Costs a ton of money, but uh, at the end of the day, it's totally worth it. This way we can, uh, we can press the hostility of this place a little bit lower. Okay, so... Oh yeah, I got a ranch too. Damn, that's good. So... The scribe has a very, very high priority for me. Sucks that we don't have any uh, decent production of of basic goods like planks and uh, the like. This is where this colony really sucks at. But, uh, what can I do? All right, so another draft. Hey, there's a lumber mill. Just uh, when I said, but uh, no, we're going to pick up the the market. <laughs> Two reasons for the market. First off, I need it for one of my quests, and uh, second off, it's so darn useful. So 30 planks and 18 fabric, so... It sucks, nevertheless, to uh, have no bigger production site for these things. Therefore, we're going to make what I totally hate to do. We're going to set on up a second crude workshop. Because, you know, otherwise I have no clue how the hell I'm supposed to get the uh, projects here uh, done, you know. So all in all, we are at a pretty good spot, uh, actually. So, go. I've got way more workers than I actually need. Which is uh, a blessing and a curse at once. But since the impatience of the queen is so low, it doesn't really matter that much. Because it's bad, because if you cannot, uh, if you cannot help or, or if you cannot give everybody housing and the like, your situation will be quite crappy. Oh gosh, this ratio hurts. But, uh, well, we probably have to do this now. Yeah. This is woodcutter number four. Usually I don't do these, but, uh, you know, the situation here is so crappy that I feel, I feel forced to, you know. So I'm also going to make this workstation only produce planks, you know, because we need them so darn badly. Some reed they would buy. Oh crap, these guys here, they are actually no longer supposed to make packs of crops. Well, well. So we're not going to get a roof over the head for everybody. That's crap. Oh boy. This is a really, really messy run so far. Not too confident. But I mean, the good news is we're producing tools now. We're producing our own tools now. But uh, I think the good news end there. Well, that ain't true, but... There's a lot of other goodness going on here, especially in, uh, in terms of uh, Queen's Impatience. We got a nice buffer there, which uh, might actually save our colony here. So, big delivery quest is almost done. We are low on food. Oh, darn. How did that come together? Yeah, I guess with all the people that I have to feed. So, we get three tools there for this one. That's great. Carpenter or a smithy. Crap. Oh boy, that sucks so hard. Uh, okay, but uh, we're, we're going to pick up the carpenter. The scribe is then going to be something we require for other things. Okay. No biggie. So the ranch isn't so far extremely cool. It transforms grain into meat. And that's what I love it for. 
So, another farm, and... Uh, Yeah, well, I'm I'm doing fine-ish, you know. Problem is that our people are actually starving, you know. And the resolve of uh, certain people in my colony is uh, negative already. So uh, yeah, we we do have our quite own problems here, but uh, I agree with you. And so far. It doesn't matter if we're losing a couple of people there, because they can be. We we got more more population than we can possibly uh, get through here. So let's see how the storm season will go. Gosh, this must be so terrible. So, low on food, let's see. They banked a lot of food, didn't they, again? Well, let's drop the packs of building materials right away before they... Yeah, here. A lot of food are actually available. So, yeah, that's all resolve with no woodcutters at all. Yikes. Oh, boy. So I don't have any bigger hopes there, so we're just going to accept that some people will leave us now this year, you know? Sometimes that's the only thing that you can do, you know? Sometimes it's just all that you can do. Builder left. Builder left. Problem is just that you're stacking up impatience when that happens. But, uh, same time, I cannot change it. That's also, by the way, one reason why I hate to draft too many uh, people in my colony. Like, uh, population can be easily way too high. And uh, that's one... That's th That colony here is a brilliant example of how a colony looks like when its uh, population is too high. And as you see there, I'm, I'm racking up... Uh, Queens and patients like crazy. We've went through all the fuel there this uh, storm, so... That's a pretty shitty situation that we're in right now. Mostly due to the drafts. The main reason is why we're uh, off so terribly bad lies in the fact that we are totally... That we totally drafted the tools too late. That was the main downfall of this uh, colony here. Just the ability to draft these darn tools not fast enough was totally kicking us. Well, it was no voluntary choice of mine, you know? Or, well, I did I did pick a couple of drafts that were a little bit, uh... That were a little bit, uh, population heavy, I do admit. But that's been it. But altogether, my biggest issue there is we require luxury things done, we require food, we require, we require, we require. So, uh, hey, more people, that's the only thing we don't require. Well, let's pick up the newcomers with food, eh? So, we're gonna have a Zork in a moment. Yo, Zork, my dude. Zork, Zork. Zork's gonna sell us the stuff we need for the market, which is really good. Except for that, he's not able to sell us anything we require, but the thing is, I don't know how much cosmetics we got. Enough. Here, things will be quite interesting. As soon as we have the market up, we'll have a really, really uh, better situation, you know? All right, wine. We require that. So, let's sell 40 of that. 80 of that. The rest of that. Yeah. So, there we go. 
So we got the wine. Now watch this. This will either win, make a, make us win, or yeah, it's not going to make anything at all. Right. We got ourselves the market now. The market is pretty amazing because it provides luxury, cleanliness, and okay, the market card side effect ain't that much of a uh, tremendously amazing thing, but. Uh, we still can use it, all right. More trade routes, because we need them. I'm just not willing to sell away my tools. Of many things that I'm willing to sell, no, not these. All right. Small farm requires people. And the thing is now, we got lots of cosmetics, we've got lots of wine. So all in all, the chances are pretty decent that our population of harpies and beavers will now be super happy in no time. Okay, so let's get ourselves some resolve there. Let's keep it. And next step, I need money. I totally need money. No, we cannot sell the stone there. Just not possible. So technically, all we require now is uh, to last through this and uh, get ourselves enough tools. To actually open up enough glades and then we win this. And as you see here, the heart piece uh, re resolve is going through the roof. That's because we got uh, the uh, cosmetics here going. It's just what I'm saying, you know. And another thing. I want another herb garden down here. Probably I should have done that a lot earlier already, but um, you know, hindsight is always twenty twenty. So trade routes are being completed. We still are a little bit low on food ish. But our scribe ain't doing anything. That's because we're not getting any bigger amounts of copper ore in. But uh, that'll change now that we got the stone cutters finally running again. Totally forgot about them. Shame on me. So, uh, well, we got not enough building force here together. So tell you what, we're going to build just another regular old shelter here for a moment. Get our peeps here uh, a roof under over their head. So yeah, I mean this is a this is a good start. This is a really really good start, and uh, we're we're actually quite capable of winning that now. This is basically everything we require to win this. We have a recurring uh, source of high resolve now, and. Uh, the most important thing is I can easily um, replicate that, you know. I can produce um, cosmetics now endlessly. That means every year I can make those harpies as happy as they are this year. So we have a decent chance of uh, getting through with this. So let's just hope we're not going to have too many deaths this year. So let's check on out how it works. So everybody's resolve is low, but we also are rocking stupendous amounts of woodcutters again, so there is there is room for improvements. So is that all? I feel like I must have forgotten one can. Oh, here. So let's see. 
could go for a simple sacrifice. Humans are not uh, happy with that. But the rest of them are. Okay. The thing about this run was uh, pretty simple. We haven't had a simple, a single cornerstone which allowed me to get resolve from anywhere. No bonus resolve cornerstones is really grim. You know. No bonus cornerstone. No bonus resolve cornerstones is really, really uh, heavy. Alright, but uh, all in all, it looks like we're getting through this somehow. Now the beavers are going negative again. I guess their wine ran out. I guess their wine ran out. So they're now starting to go in unhappy. Let's burn the... Let's burn the remaining storm some wood. I don't care. Good old. We survive yet another year. Perfect. So, what's there? Um, Glade events? Wow, how crappy. So, uh, yeah. Each newly completed Glade event lowers the hostility. At times, you have to take really uh, the... The crappiest of the crap. And also I'm noticing that we're not getting anything done with the harpy houses here. That means we are out of materials for fabric. Right? Right. So let's change that. Also, we have to get up our woodcutters. Okay. So it's only a couple of years now until we are going to win this. Win. But I'm I'm quite positive, honestly. Mostly because we're uh, now pretty uh, solid in terms of services. And uh, like I said, the the harpies are churning out happiness there. Problem is still that the beavers aren't too happy, but the beavers, they're always moping. Okay. Set that back again. Yeah, but cosmetics we have 150. By the way, I am producing cosmetics like a crazy guy because I have that stupid cornerstone that says harpies get more resolve the more cosmetics we produce, so. We are now a cosmetic city, you know. That's just how it goes. Let's get sent that to the citadel. Go. We're low on fuel, but that's only a very temporary thing, I hope. And we're also out of workers. Christ, how could that happen? Okay. I surely didn't expect that. Okay, but uh, altogether, at the crew workstation, we don't need that many people, don't we? Okay, so... Cloth production will come up... Uh, co will come online any moment again. And... Uh, So, our good dude, the lizard, what can we buy from him? So, yeah, I'll buy that fabric, because fabric is uh, really what we're requiring right now. I'm also going to buy that plus one resolve from uh, housing. It's um, always a nice thing to have. And now just buy that uh, fabric, so we got that. Little thing, uh, that little shortage resolved, you know. And now let's work on those standings. Or at least try to. Okay. Gotta churn out the happiness for those harpies, you know. Hope the beaver house will now. Ugh, they're still grumped. Oh, whatever. 
Then you go. One of you can go. You're uh, no longer welcome here if you are. There you go. They turned sane again. That's good. So that herb garden here, I don't have the necessary workforce for that. It's quite tragic. But what can I do? Jerky production at the smokehouse. Jerky can be produced out of insects and out of wood. That sucks. Permanent shortage of that stuff on our place. Explorer's Lodge, brawling and education. So uh, we got the scribe. So uh, yeah, we're, we're going to take that. Education is interesting for two of our species there. And therefore we want that. So... Beaver resolve is low again. I honestly take it now that uh, they that one of them will leave will leave town. I don't care because uh, the harpy happiness is way more important than the than that. There we go. One woodcutter left is. There we go. So, this is a very, very ungrateful way of uh, having to win. Because we really churn it out darn slowly, but at the same time, we're, we're certainly getting there, you know? But, uh, not in a pacing that feels pleasant, that's for sure. On the other hand, the more cosmetics we produce, the happier our, our harpies will grow. And uh, we're going to win this game if it has to be with the harpies alone, you know. No problem with that. Problem there is just, uh, you know, the sheer amount of uh, tools we require versus the low amount of tools we produce. But whatever, we're, we're winning this after all somehow hopefully so next storm season is upon us my woodcutters are running out of job again and storm So, time to unemploy the woodcutters again. Let's see where this will get us. Not net positive. Damn. Well, well. But it's also not as bad as it could be to say something positive, you know. So, yeah, buy those planks from me, by all means. Okay. So, let's see. Some sacrificial project does the trick for now. We do keep sacrificing all year long. This is one of the worst runs that I've been playing so far, honestly. Okay, we're going to accept the loss of a beaver or two if necessary. We got mo we got a very high amount of them in our colony, and I don't want to go through greater lengths here. So, a rancher left us. Whatever, dude. Whatever. So, let's put up the woodcutters again. One thing that I really would wish the game could do automatically for us. We could get some templates for that or anything like that. I don't know. I only know that uh, I personally grow quite tired of, uh, re of putting my people back and forth in their jobs. Okay, then. So, we got that. We got another completed trade route. 
So very shortly we're going to fulfill that. Oh, we got the Explorer's Lodge together. Hell yeah. So, that's plus one global resource for every rebuild or salvaged ruin. It sucks that we have so many haunted ruins here, which I wasn't able to complete here, because, you know, haunted ruins are something else. You really uh, gotta be careful with these. They can totally slap you. But, yeah, well... So, now we can finish the Charity Fair event. Oh, this will give us a lot of food. Hell yeah. And the other thing there is one additional trade route slot. Okay. Perfect. So, it doesn't help me any at all if we don't have any trade routes uh, open there, but whatever. Or available. Any materials there, however you want to put it. So. The carpenter's ready. So, we're going to deactivate the production of tools at the scribe's place for good. Since we got the carpenter now. Gonna be stopping the production of planks at this place altogether, too. And then we're good to go. So we don't need the timber in here, we don't need the timber in there. And most importantly, we got now education and cleanliness satisfied, and uh, the uh, reputation goes right through the roof here. Okay. Yeah, so, um, uh, looks like we're winning it now in the, in that, uh, way. So, leather worker. The only thing we're missing here in, in, a, in the grand total is copper. An easy supply of copper, or anything comparable. That's really, uh problem for this colony, but besides that, we're doing great. Yeah, the uh, reputation is amazing. That's why I personally love to uh, play with high reputations in general. Also a reason why I like harpies. They might be demanding and all, but uh, if you manage to make them happy, they are a very, very constant source of uh, happiness mm. so let's see we'd require that jerky for one of our quests if i remember correctly so we can easily sell away all that stuff that we don't require anymore so oh well even selling some of my valuable tools here I got a uh, quest for jerky, and uh, it's more reputation in it if we just resolve the quest for jerky than if we uh, try to open up one cache with our uh, with our stuff there. And we got don't have enough herbs there, so uh, here herb garden. I need more people for that. I find it amazing that my colony is so full with uh, people, and still, at the end of the year, I end up with, I need more people. <laughs> okay, whatever. So, Smoldering City. These dudes, oh, they need only one more transaction. And these dudes too, that's great. So we can resolve that quest soon that quest soon that's gonna be two points more uh we just need to survive long enough for the harpies to churn out the necessary reputation great looks like we have a real chance here go so let's 
let's check on out the, uh, the trade routes there. An insect trade route, sure thing. The more money, the better. With money, we can uh, buy ourselves some some success at the end of the day, too. Okay, that's one real problem now. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Well, that's... That's gonna blow us up for sure. Oh dear, we're going to lose a couple of people here. Damn. It's, uh... We have 11 fuel versus 16 cysts. Well, alright, 14, 15, yeah, maybe we'll be, uh... We'll be not dying like that. Alright, we got ourselves another, uh... Quest finished. I totally dirt now what that gave me, but whatever. Okay. So, um, yeah. Let's get the woodcutters out of business. So, yeah. All in all, the situation looks pretty, uh, pretty manageable. There we go. Just requires some sacrifices. That's that. Okay, bathhouse, cleanliness. Um, is there any bonus that's good for our reputation? No, okay. So we're going to set on up a brewery, because we can make pickled goods there. Not that anybody in my colony really needs them, but... Uh, yeah. So, our stonecutters are out of job. That's bad. What can I do? Okay, so we require three more points of standing, and here we're going to have our first, uh, there's people dying. So a beaver died. Okay. Corruption outbursts, you know. That shouldn't have happened. But I kind of, like, expected it the moment when I saw that... We had that many uh, blight problem, blight cysts, and uh, not really anybody uh, countering that. But whatever. So, there we go. So, new people incoming, and we get even more new people with tools. Now that's outright great, wonderful. Okay, so uh, we're going to... I'm pretty sure we're able to win this now. So let's see. Are there any tools at the Carpenters? No. Damn. I need one more tool, Christ's sake. That's the one tool that I've sold too eagerly, I bet. But never mind. We're, we're going to get there. So... There we go. Low on fuel, I know, I know, but that won't last long. By the way, let's see, yeah, we can yeah, just destroy that thing. That should give us some some wood back as well. So yeah, let's just uh, let the harpies do their thing. Here we produce the last couple of tools that we need, and that's already the victory. The Harpies will produce at least one more point of reputation over the course of the year, and uh, we're going to open one large abandoned cache, and that's that. Oof. Okay. I honestly am a tad bit surprised that we're uh, that we're winning it. Don't get me wrong, but this looked uh, pretty bad for a pretty long time, but, uh, yeah. It's a victory. It's a victory. We're just going to wait now for the cache to be finished, and the harpies are going to do the rest. The fire ain't going out. You just have to grab the wood there, you fools. Jeez. So. Hey, Zorg, my dude. Is there anything you want me to that, that I can buy from you, man? Er, scores. Yeah, my harpies love scores. That's one thing that we're going to do, and that's one beautiful way how you can win the game by favoring one species of yours. 
and for some weird reason I find the Harpies an extremely good species for that kind of victory because they are just uh they don't they aren't they aren't too demanding it's really hard to get their uh, baseline satisfaction to make sure that they don't run away for, from your colony anymore but uh once you're past that point as you see there that's it oh boy we did it i'm so happy Whew. prestige 13 sure not easy especially the part that you're uh, so um low on decisions is really brutal what saved us here was really the crazy um plus harpy resolve thing by producing tons of uh, cosmetics i i haven't expected that to be such a thing but yeah so i thank you all for for watching this it's been my pleasure i hope you enjoyed yourself too and uh yeah let's uh let's leave it like that drop me a comment down below leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. There's uh, daily content like that. Thank you guys. You're uh, you're too kind. That was really uh, that was really something. And uh, yeah, down in the description box, there's the playlist link. There's also support links. There's PayPal, Patreon, and Buy Me a Coffee as ways and means to support this channel. And I'd be delighted if you'd give them a look. Thanks for hanging on out. And uh, let's see where we'll end next time. See ya.